Hey there, it is Tab of the Caro, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a few ways to make your own digital stickers with this white outline look, basically combining graphics and text. And I'll show you a few ways to do that. All you will need is Canva and possibly a background remover website if you don't have the paid version of Canva. So let's get started. First, we're just going to open up a square Instagram post document in Canva. Then we'll try doing a sticker with just a free element inside of Canva. Now I will say I don't want to steer you wrong as far as whether you could sell these or not, but I would definitely stick with only free elements within Canva and not any paid elements if you have the paid version. So first I will just search for, we'll do coffee. Going to make sure graphics is selected I will tap the filter icon and I will want static and free only apply the filters and here this one allows you to change your color so if you have the pro version you could use your colors right here to get it to match your branding going to add some text around it As far as fonts, I would probably also try to stick with free fonts and not anything that needs the pro account. I'm going to go to effects and I like to use the curve feature when you tap on shape a lot of times to go around the graphic. So if I tap on the curve button again, I can customize how the curve is going. I'm going to press down and select all three items so that I can make them a little bit bigger and fill up the square size of the background. So now we're ready to do the first part which is to download it as a transparent BNG with a transparent background. So to do that you want to go to download. You would need to have the pro version for this and you would tap transparent background and download but if you don't have the pro version and you want to do this I'll show you what I recommend let's just go ahead and download it without the transparent background and you can go to a website called experte.com tap select image and just pull it in from your photos and there you go now you have transparent background PNG of your file. Okay, next we will need to do this again with the same graphic, but we will want to add in the white outline and some shadowing. So I'm going to just import the graphic that I've already done from my camera roll. Okay, so we're gonna tap on the graphic we are going to go to effects go to shadow choose the first one glow tap on it again so we can get this outline setting that we need and what I use you can play around do what you want but what I do is I change size to 25 transparency all the way to 100 blur to 0 and the color to white course you can do whatever color you want. Tap done and let it make that adjustment. Once you see that it has you're ready to now add a little bit of shadowing if you want to or you could be done and leave it as is. But I like to go back to shadow, back to glow, and then I do 420 for the transparency and blur I do 3 and I'll leave it black just to give it a little bit of sticker cutout type feel. Now I'll just increase the size a little bit and then I'm ready. This is your final draft basically so I'm ready to just download it as once again a transparent background PNG 
just the page that you want or if you did this in a bulk way you can download them all at once and as always if you don't have the pro version you can just go to experte.com right here and download and get that transparent background that you want for a sticker now some other suggestions I recommend is that if you want to be able to sell these perhaps you should get clip art from someone that allows it I personally have a line of clip art and I absolutely allow it so here is from my boho rainbow set to show you really quickly the sticker you can make with it So this is another example of one that you could do with clip art. Another fun thing you could try is using Canva's emojis because you can change the colors on most of these emojis. So to access it, you just want to make sure that you go to apps and tap emoji and use and then you'll have it here in your tools bar. So here you can just um, pick most of these will let you change their colors. So if you have the paid version of Canva and you have your own brand colors, if you go over to design and style, then you can just tap your colors for your brand and it will automatically update everything for you. You can tap again to get what you want instead of having to individually add the colors. Now something else you may want to do, especially when designing stickers, is to get the spacing between the letters spread out just to get the fitting correctly that you may want around the graphic. So I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in my clip art, you can look in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.